I hope everybody out there had a great holiday season. Um, I don't know how you spent it, but statistically, <laughs> statistically speaking, it was probably watching Star Wars because over the last couple of weeks, millions of people went to see The Force Awakens, pushing its box office past Titanic. Sorry, Jack, you died for nothing. <laughs> the Force Awakens has a 93% certified fresh rating on Rotten Tomatoes, but I'm a Catholic. So, of course, I got all my movie reviews from L'Observatore Romano, <laughs> the official newspaper of the Vatican. That's right, they have a newspaper because some stories are just too complicated to report through colored smoke. <laughs> and L'Observatore Romano was not impressed. Just look at their headline, Confuso e Sfocato. <laughs> now, I don't know what Sfocato means, but it sounds either very insulting or very delicious. <laughs> I'll have the veal Sfocato, please. <laughs> Suffice it to say, these guys, and I assume they're guys, we're not fans. <laughs> Calling the movie confused and hazy, even adding that the blockbuster overdoes the darkness. The Vatican, and this is true, gave a better review to Spotlight. <laughs> they were, I'm not joking, they were especially disappointed in The Force Awakens villains, saying they fail most spectacularly in representing evil, and the counterpart of Darth Vader, Kylo Ren, wears a mask merely to emulate his predecessor. Now, I didn't have a problem with the mask, but I was upset that when he took it off, his hair was somehow perfectly fluffed. <laughs> How is this possible? If that's what you get with the dark side, sign me up. <laughs> but I have to say, this review really has me torn, because I, I'm now caught in a crisis of faith between deeply held beliefs embedded in me since childhood and the Catholic Church. <laughs> so, before... That's all right. You can applaud. You can applaud. So before you jump on them for not enjoying Star Wars as much as we did, let me defend my church by explaining why they might have issues with it. For one thing, it's a story of a savior born in the desert, chosen to redeem mankind. That's copyright infringement. <laughs> you think God is vengeful? You should meet his lawyer, Ira. <laughs> now, it doesn't help that the original trilogy featured a father, a son, and a holy ghost. <laughs> the Catholic Church might take issue with a bad guy who spends the entire movie trying to stab people with a cross. And keep in mind, both Star Wars and the Catholic Church have large followings of virgins. 